the call on the shot that sends him to the line. RJ, you played against Raymond Green. Do you agree with him when he calls himself the best defender in NBA history? Raymond Green. Of course not. He's not the best. But he's worked his way here at the top. I'll give my guy that. And look, he's a defensive player of the year, and he has been in consideration multiple other years. It's his versatility that gives him such a boost on that other end of the floor. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. free throws good from green the quintessential blue guy green does all the dirty work you need one of these guys on your team because he has such a diverse skill set now here's herder barnes right side now here's herder shot clock at six on deep alive by Sacramento and that's a nice job on the offensive glass so that that'll let them work the clock even more I didn't see that miss coming I mean he's usually been money from that range now here's Poole to take the lead he lays it in Jordan Poole Poole's got the lead up to one now for the Warriors wow has he flipped the switch at halftime much more effective here than the second half and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. On offense, here are the Warriors. Big stretch here going 10-2. Thompson finds green. Now, here's Poole. He's defended by Herter. Here's the teardrop, and the bucket is Jordan good from Poole, indeed. And now a three-point Warrior lead. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Pass to Barnes. The dish to Murray. Second shot opportunity. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. Andrew Wiggins. And so Fox will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. It's a five-point game. Pass to Murray. He dishes it to Barnes. And it's Barnes shaking it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Sacramento making their last shot. Cool, the pass to Curry. From downtown, it's hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Out to the right wing. It's stolen by Curry. Thompson in the corner. Shoots over Herter. Barnes grabs the miss. And usually that's a bucket for him, but look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. Basket good. And it's now only a one-point warrior lead. What energy from Fox when they're up against it, proving he's ready to be that guy. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. When it counts, you want to get the ball to Clay Thompson where he can do something special with it. And here is Fox after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Up again, and Murray with the second chance points. 
Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Those second chance points can add up. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Over his career, Green has been in so many huge playoff games, so he's used to the pressure moment. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. good from green now they're going for the jugular a few more trips like that and we might be able to see this one in the books here's fox 133 left to play here in the fourth curry with the rebound curry's got his fifth rebound right now in the game Green dishes to Kirk. Count it. Stephen and it's Curry. a seven-point Warrior lead. As team first as anyone in this league, Green is always looking to dish. Fox against Green. The 11-footer misses off the left iron. The Warriors shooting it really well. 54% from the floor. Thompson outside. Poole up top. He's defended by Herter. The offensive rebound. Second chance shot. No good on the shot. This is a do or die possession. They have got to get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. Third personal foul. Shooting for Sacramento. De'Aaron Fox. Taking two shots. He cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And the second of two is good. That trims the lead to six. Ooh, you hope that leaving points at the line won't come back to haunt them. Curry finds Thompson. And an intentional foul right there. Murray, fourth personal foul. Shooting for Golden State. Clay Thompson, two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. After a run of bad luck with injuries, it's great to see Thompson back on the court contributing because this man, he is the definition of a warrior. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Frank, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. On offense, here are the Warriors. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Now, here's Curry. He's tightly guarded. So we see the Warriors get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. That's a good point. Yeah, I mean, we great teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. See you later.